Hi guys and welcome to 123MyOT. In this video, we will show you how to copy data from iPhone to Android with iCloud in 2020. Okay guys, so we're going to copy the data from your iPhone to iCloud and then download that data onto your Android device. This will copy data such as contacts, messages, free apps, photos, videos and documents. We will use Wi-Fi, so make sure both devices are on Wi-Fi also, this should work with most Android phones. The process will be similar, but you might have to work out which copy software to use. Okay, let us start. On your iPhone, go into settings, scroll to the top, and just sign into your iCloud with your Apple ID. Once you are signed into iCloud, the next step here is to do a backup to iCloud. To do this, tap on iCloud, then scroll down to the bottom and tap on iCloud Backup. This is where you would tap Backup Now to start the backup. However, before you do this, let's go back and select what we want to back up. Remember, you will be copying this data to your Android device. Okay, I'm going to go through and turn off anything that I don't want to back up. These are all things I don't want on my Android device. Okay, once finished, there are a few more options to turn off. You need to turn off two-factor authentication if you have that turned on. To do this, go out of settings and into Safari and browse to appleid.apple.com. Once there, sign in with your Apple ID and password. When you're logged into your account, tap on security and then scroll to the bottom and turn off two-factor authentication. As you can see, I don't actually have it turned on. The next step is to turn off Find My iPhone. This is helpful if you want to sell your iPhone afterwards. Go back into Settings, tap on Apple ID, and then tap on Find My. You can see Find My iPhone is turned on. Tap to turn it off. Enter your Apple ID, and then just turn it off. The last step is to turn off iMessages. This will stop your phone number from being linked to your Apple ID. Tap on Find My, tap on Apple ID, and then tap on Settings. Scroll down and find Messages and then just toggle off iMessages. Okay, go back into settings and then go back into your iCloud account again. Tap iCloud, again go down to iCloud Backup. Tap Backup Now to start the iCloud Backup. Depending on how much data you have, this might take a while. Head over to your Android device and start the restore software. This is a Samsung S20, so the software is called Smart Switch. You can find it in the menu, or if you're on other Android devices, you can look under Settings and then Accounts and Backup, or the backup area of your Android device. If it prompts you to update, always tap Update. Tap on Receive Data, and then tap on iPhone since we want to receive the data from the iPhone. You want to connect wirelessly to iCloud, and then enter in your Apple ID. The backup is finished on the iPhone now, so you can just close out of it. Tap Done to log into your iCloud account on your Android device. Awesome! You should now have a list of data that you can copy across to your Android device. Just deselect any data that you don't want to copy across. And then tap Import. Great, it will give you other options to copy data to your Android device. Tap Next down the bottom. It gives you a warning about turning off iMessage, which we already did. So just tap Next. And then tap Go to the home screen. And check if your data copied across by going into your Android device. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos, such as everything iPhone SE in 3 minutes, 
Also, do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like the video, please share it with them. Also, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.